apply. No questions about the NCAA review or its impact on the program. Do the same thing we did with the previous five gentlemen. Just raise your hand and I will call out your name and you can ask a question at that point. Rashawn Haylock. Uh, Kyle, uh, what was it like being over in China, getting your first dose of, you know, kind of being able to play with these guys and playing at this level? Um, well, it was great. Um, you know, a great way to, you know, start off um, a season a little bit earlier, but, you know, just to, you know, kind of get used to playing with everybody and, you know, develop a chemistry pretty early. It was, it was great for the team and, you know, great for myself. Beth Harris. Shabazz, uh, coach was talking about your ankle sprain and you said, you know, one of the worst he'd seen. How much did that set you back this summer in terms of being able to prepare for the season? Um, yeah, I mean, that set me back I mean, a couple weeks, but, um, Really came back strong from it, and just uh, really worked with our uh, therapist here, and, and uh, really worked hard to get it back strong. And uh, I'm back at 100 percent right now, so it feels great. Peter Yoon. Spot, you didn't get to go to China. I mean, how how excited are you to finally get to play with some of these guys? Oh, I mean, I'm really excited to, get to play with these guys. I mean, I've been playing and practice with them, and uh, just enjoying myself. Uh, the chemistry's coming really well with all of us, and these. These three freshmen with uh, with me, so I mean, uh, it's, it's going to be a great opportunity, and I, I think it's going to be a big thing ahead of us. Uh, just staying confident and uh, getting, trying to get ready to do this. David Vasse in the back. Shabazz, uh, talk about the whole adjustment coming out to LA and being on campus, getting adjusted to that. Maybe all of you guys can answer that, but Shabazz, what's it been like for you since everybody knows who you are? Yeah. Oh, it's been great. I mean, it's an honor um, being at UCLA and the tradition here, and uh, and all of us uh, being on campus together having fun and uh, going to class and uh, it's just a great opportunity for us and we, we just can't wait for the basketball season to start and uh, we're, uh, we're itching to get out there on that on that new poly pavilion and run right on the floor and, uh, and play. Jacob Ruffman. For all four of you guys, you all left home to go to college. How much does that sort of bond you guys together as being freshmen and all sort of coming here and, and becoming teammates? Um, well, it, well, it helps us. Um, helps us actually a lot because you know we're all you know pretty far from home except for us. But uh, the three East Coast guys, you know, it just helps us a lot because you know we kind of feel for each other and you know keep each other comfortable when you know when there's you know there's something or there's nothing to do out here and you know we got each other. John Gold. Uh, for Shabazz, one of the, the the key qualities that you guys are share is that you guys all come from really winning programs. How at UCLA, which is this, this history of winning. Uh, how important is that for you to kind of uphold that? Because you guys are all just coming in with championships and everything. Well, I think that's one of the biggest things that we all discuss between each other. I mean, um, we all came from winning programs and all been winning in high school, state championships and stuff like that. And uh, just trying to interpret that into uh, college and, and uh, really going to try to carry that tradition on to, for all of us. And uh, we really try to go out there and win every game and play every game as hard as we can. Mark Wicker. Guys, if you could uh, look at the way Kyle plays and sort of who does he remind you of among players that you've studied and, and watched over the years. And Kyle, if, if you've ever looked at a guy and said, I want to play, that's, that's the style I want to play, I want to be like him, who would that be? Oh, I mean, Kyle, I mean, he's just such a special player. I mean, at 6'9", he can handle the ball. Uh, nobody handles the ball like he can at that, uh, at that size. I mean, going to practice and uh, just cutting, he always has a, the correct pass and it's always there on time. And uh, I mean, if anything, he reminds me of a little bit of Mag Johnson. I mean, the way he is and uh, how Magic was 6'8 and how, how Kyle is 6'8 also and just can pass the ball and just, just has an IQ. He's so smart and, uh, on the floor that really helped him. It's going to take him a long way in his career. Kyle? I mean, who would be a guy that you might not to pad yourself after, but you saw a guy playing and say, I'd like to have that style or I'd like to be that guy. Well, I would say um, I would say Magic also just being a big guard and um, you know his ability to be guarded by smaller defenders and be able to see over them and just you know, work as a as a big guy and know how to handle the ball. And John, sorry, John, John Gold. Uh, for Tony and Jordan, obviously a lot of the attention is on the two guys in the middle there. But uh, talk about what you guys hope to do this season and, and the expect not only what you hope to do but what the coaches hope you guys do as well. I think the coaches are just looking for a toughness from our southern guys. Um, most southern guys are really, really tough. It's just bringing a new style of basketball to the Pac-12, definitely to UCLA. Just a tough style of basketball, playing hard, 
working hard in practice. And I think that's what we bring. All four of us really, we just bring the toughness that just raises our competitive level as a team. Like you said earlier, he wants us all win, so brought in like four win players, so we're all really trying to bring that to college. Young lady in the back. So the twins are saying that you guys have already come in and you've been very humble and you've asked for advice and um, you're just trying to soak up everything. What have you learned so far from your veteran teammates or what has enlightened you to make this transition from high school to college? Um, a, lot, a lot of things, really. So a lot of our vets have been, been through this. Three of them have been through this through from different programs, and they've been in great programs with Larry and the from North Carolina. And now you're here in Big Josh being here for three years. We have very, very experienced veterans, and they know everything coming in. So they just kind of help us out. It's not a jealousy or anything between us. It's just like a really big brother relationship. And I think that's really what makes us a, real, a really good team. And that's what's going to make us a really, really, really good team in the, in the season because we're going to need those guys to help us because we're freshmen. It's our first time going through it. And they've been through it. And three of them, this is their last year. So I think they're really looking for us to help them out a lot. Edward Lewis. Uh, Jordan, uh, you, um, you seem like you lost a lot of weight since high school. And whatnot. Uh, what have you guys been doing that makes you lose that? And how much weight did you lose? And how do you recognize it? Um, we have a thing called Breakfast Club. We used to play. Like the overweight freshman who came in overweight, so um, basically we wake up at like 7 a.m. just run, condition, lift weights. So it was hard. I lost 13, but it was all worth it. So it was How does that change your game on the court? Uh, it helped a lot. I'm quicker now, a little bit more athletic, more flexible. It's, it's come along. Rashawn Haylock. <coughs> uh, Kyle, what, what is uh, what is Coach Holly? said about your, your slow-mo tag or nickname that, that you came in here with and I guess for the whole group all the hype surrounding you guys coming into here how much of that did you guys read into? Um, um, I don't think we you know we didn't you know give into any of the hype coming in because you know once, once you get to once you get to college all that hype is erased you know it's it's about who's pulling the wings up um, so I don't think you know we, we we didn't get into the hype that came in with us or, or anything else. You know we're just ready to get out there with a great group of guys who are returning and you know get out there ready to work, take it one day at a time, and you know bring UCLA back. Anyway. Coach, give you any any slack about the slow mo nickname? Or? Uh, nah, he said he wants to get me the reg regular motion. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I think that's something we're working on. Uh, so I think the slow mo slow mo title is out the door. Mark Wicker. Donnie, you talked about bringing toughness to the program. Have there been moments in these early practices where you you brought some physicality to maybe some of the upperclassmen? And if so, how's that gone over? It, it's, it's natural with this team because there's so much talent. So the toughness just automatically comes out, especially with, with the four freshmen and the older guys. They, you know, they come at us, and they're supposed to because they, they know what we're about to go through. We have a very tough schedule. So the toughness automatically comes out, especially in practice between these guys because we make each other better, iron sharpens. Like iron sharpens iron, so that really just pushes us. And I think toughness is really what's going to get us there. And I think the toughest teams win. Edward Lewis, uh, for all four of you, really, um, mainly just Jordan and Tony. Though, uh, how how big of an impact did Corey McRae have in getting you guys here? And and if he wasn't here, would you guys be sitting up here today? Um, he was a he was a huge factor for me because I'm him personally, and he's my AD coach. So. When um, UCLA hired him, I definitely, my interest went higher and higher. Well, I lost to Corey a lot in AAU for with the Celtics when we were younger, so it was a different for me. I was like, oh, he's the enemy. But no, nah, really, he was always a cool guy, and he had a great workout. So when I when he asked me about it, I was just like, <coughs> I took it in. I didn't really know he was he was he was really here. I thought he was just playing around when he called me. But as I noticed, it was an LA number that he was serious. So I just really took it in. I really thought about it with my parents. And I feel like the guy from home to come out here and have him watch out for me has been really well. David Woods, uh, Tony, uh, how much are you kind of expecting to participate or play this year? And uh, are you expecting to participate both the four and the five? Yes, I'm, I'm definitely really ready to play in the four and the five position because I know they're going to need me out there. We have four great bigs, and I think we're going to rotate them often. So I just can't, can't wait to get my opportunity to play. I think it's gonna be fun. I didn't play in China, so it's kind of itchy. I'm kind of itchy to get out there. Chris Foster. Uh, Shabazz, when, when you, um, 
made your commitments last year. What did you know, everything just kind of all the attention got thrown on the class? What did you just decide on just what did you have to feel you're gonna to have to accept about this notoriety class? Oh, I mean there's always a good and bad about uh, making a decision <clears throat> with uh, for all four of us and uh, I just think it was a great situation for all of us and that's why I looked at it as at the end of the day. Um, getting to play with these these uh, three great guys over here sitting down and uh, just yeah, me and Tony made the decision. We talked it over and uh, just just saw we had our personnel at, at um, with, with Kyle and Jordan already committing. I mean, uh, it was uh, a no brainer for us to commit here, and, and uh, I really liked it, enjoyed it. Did I mean? Did you just kind of feel like, all right, well, now everybody's just kind of saying, well, they've got teams going to win the national title. You're going to have to live with those expectations. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you have to live with those. I mean, that's that's what sports is all about. And, uh, we're going to really work hard and. Uh, Make sure we live up to that, or try to make sure we live up to that. Beth Harris. Shabazz, when um, last season when UCLA was losing and coach was on the hot seat and player gets kicked off the team, what was going through your mind in terms of you know wanting to commit to this program and, and seeing you know a program that had been great at one time on hard times? Yeah, I mean, I always knew that they're a really good program. Um, just looking at that, I just know that. Um, I mean, a lot of people make uh, mistakes, and uh, I know Coach Holland's a great guy, and he's been coaching guys like Kevin Love, Russell Westbrook. Guys are really successful in the league now. So um, I was just looking at it like it's kind of it was kind of a downfall for them that year, but um, but now looking at it, we're picking it up, and we really look like a great team right now. John Gold, Kyle, um, you're such a unique offensive player. How do you think that uh, Coach Holland has used you so far, and, and do you think that you guys are kind of just starting to scratch the surface of? even what he knows you can do at this point so early in the season? Well, um, um, in China, you know, Coach, Coach Holland used me as, you know, just a, a guy to make uh, decisions. You know, we, we, saw a lot of, we saw a lot of zone out in China, so, you know, putting me in the middle to make decisions, you know, get guys in, in open spots. Um, but another thing he told me was, uh, you know, if, you, if I ever wanted to bring up the ball, I had to go get the defensive rebound. So, you know, that starts to break a little bit earlier and help the offense a little bit better. You know, going to get the rebound and then starting it from from there.